Chapter 14, Homework, First Declension. All right, so here we have our nominative in the first declension, the souls. Here we have the word the. It is in the genitive case, the men. And here we have the verb sozo, and we have put it in the passive or middle third plural present. My sai tai methasta antai. So we're in the present tense. So this is going to be our being saved. For example, if you had this in the imperfect, it would be were being saved, but we're in the present, so we have are. In beginning, and I'm going to put a the in parentheses, here we have the nominative, the word, and here we have a passive middle voice. It's the third person singular, and it's the imperfect, because we have augmented this alpha for a kuo, so it's a kuato. the commandment, the life, in the genitive of the life. We have an imperfect, we have the augment, was being spoken by the Lord. Number four. So I'm hoping that as we go through these, you can start recognizing, like here we have our subject, here we have our verb, and here we have a clause in the temple. So we have the writings or the scriptures, and this is the imperfect. We have the augment and our onto ending for plural for they, meaning the scriptures for, you know, it. We're being taught. The scriptures were being taught in the temple. So here we do not have anything in the nominative case, so our subject is tacked on to our verb. Now remember, the, we can have the passive or the middle voice here. We don't necessarily know. There isn't a lot of context. So this could be they were being cast out or they were casting out themselves out of the world. Now, we're going to talk about this word in a second, but the very nature of this word is cast out, but then we also have this preposition ek, which kind of also means out. So depending on how you want to put that into English, um, you know, they're casting themselves out, out of the world. So that's, I'm just going to put that here. I'm sorry, this is um, village. This is not world, that's village. All right, so let's just talk about this word for a second. One of the vocab words that we had was ekbalo. And that was I throw out, I cast out. And then we also had the word balo for I throw. And when we look at this word, we have this, we don't have a K anymore, we have an X. And when we put the when we put this word into the imperfect, we have to add that epsilon right in the middle there. So what we have is we've got now by nature of the grammar and the changing of the letters, this k then becomes the the um, x. All right, so that's that word. Okay, number six. So we've got our nominative, and then our verb, and then a clause in the native or the locative or the instrumental. So the covenant or testament. We've got our imperfect was being. 
So this case, tois anthropois, well, this is the men, but now we're going to get our case going. So you have in or at, to or for, with or by, and obviously only some of these are going to make sense. And that is for you to decide. Standalone preposition apo. And then the beginning, since this preposition is only with the ablative, we are going to put the beginning in the ablative case. In the village. So we're going to put our noun on the verb. For, so for teaching, didasco, we're going to put it in the third person singular, didaske. And then this is going to be in the accusative. And it's plural. We have peace in the soul. All right. Our subject is on the verb for have, for we, we have. The word for peace. And I think this is in the accusative, so I'm going to put a new at the end. In the soul is going to be locative. The sons. I think the accent goes there. We're receiving. So the word for receive, lambano, I receive. So we're going to put it in the past. So we're going to put it in the imperfect. We're going to add the augment. And we have our ending for the plural, third person, the sons, for they. I think the accent's there. I might have to go back and check that. The testament we're going to put in the accusative. Okay, the apostles heard. We're going to put the word akuo in the past. We're going to change that alpha to an eta. And we need the third person plural ending for the apostles for they. So the apostles, they heard. The commandment will go into the accusative. And then we're going to put from the Lord, we're going to do apo, and then the Lord will go into the ablative case. And remember, that's the masculine, so we have to kind of switch between our feminine the and our masculine the, and in the correct case. The soul. Hey, sukse is being saved. So we have a present with the is, and we're going to have a third person singular. So tie, the my side tie ending, and we need the verb for save, which is sozo. So we're going to do so a tie. And finds And we're going to need the word for peace. I think that's going to be accusative, so we're going to stick a new on the end. And righteousness. Okay.